No, I don't think so. Um, yes, it's true we're suffering considerably here, but the situation in other parts of the world, in, in the developing world, is absolutely colossal. Uh, nationally, we have an income of roughly uh, 25,000 euro per person uh, last year, 2010. In many parts of the world, that corresponding income is of the order of two or three hundred euro. And that is an appalling uh, distinction. I'm aware of the problems that many people are facing in regard to employment, in regarding to um, jobs, in regarding to mortgages. But in um, many parts of the developing world, uh, the situation is even huge, is much more severe. The theme for this year is essentially poverty. Poverty in relation to hunger, poverty in relation to land. And the particular focus is on the country of Honduras and a small family uh, of uh, four people, father, mother and son and daughter. And the daughter, Digna, is on the Trocra box this year. This small family uh, is fighting to retain uh, ownership and use of a very small plot of land in uh, Honduras while being threatened by large landowners uh, who are eager to evict them. Well, uh, Troker has been in, uh, is in Honduras uh, for the last 20 years or thereabouts. Uh, it expanded its operation during the time of Hurricane Mitch in 1998. And the current director there is Sally O'Neill, one of the first employees of Troker. And uh, we're deeply involved in various aspects of human rights, uh, food production, and income generating projects. I think that given the recession, the, throw, the response was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the response to the Haiti appeal in January of last year, January 2010, um, uh, Troker took in uh, 9 million uh, euro at the time. And that was followed about seven or eight months later uh, by, with eight and a half million uh, euro for Pakistan. In both cases, 60% uh, approximately of that would have come directly from Catholic parishes. And as far as the Diocese of Clonfert is concerned, uh, 90,000 euro was raised uh, for um, Haiti and 70,000 for Pakistan. And I think that given the, res the recession and other difficulties, that there were absolutely brilliant responses. And indeed, it's unusual that we would have two major mer emergency appeals in the one 12-month period. The first thing I would say is to treat the common good as the common good, to avoid legislating or creating budget advantages for sectional interests, but to remember that the common good is something not just for Irish people, but that we have a responsibility to the world uh, as a whole. And it was disappointing that over the last three budgets, aid was cut by 284 million euro. And we would ask, that the incoming government uh, would re-establish um, their priorities and would lift the aid budget uh, so that we can reach our target figure of 0.7 of 1% uh, of our gross national income for overseas development. <music>